Okay, we're gonna do it again <clears throat> with the AS Rock. I have F Secure on here now. So, um, if I can kind of hold still enough, maybe we'll be alright. <clears throat> and if it recognizes the SD card after me having to, and it did not. Going back and trying to boot into Windows. So having to hard shut it down even when there's no errors makes it stop recognizing it. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to do this. Take it out. Can't really see it. Take it out wait for a little bit maybe the bottom so I'm going to put it in the other slot right above and then instead of not hard shut down but uh, control all delete can just barely do this with one hand am I getting it and my keyboard's working don't do control alt delete. Let's try it on this keyboard. That's the P oh look at that. PS2 keyboard did it. There's just certain in uh, places in, in in the boot sequence and in the that the uh, BIOS was not recognizing that USB keyboard. <clears throat> I thought it was all to do with VBA rescue, but that was the system. Okay good deal okay now remember that because evidently that's the tr one trick that works I just left it running and w and pulled it out and put it in the other slot uh, which is what you really don't usually supposed to do you know like if you're in Windows you need to or Linux it's really it's it will can work but you can also get a lock file left behind and then you'll have that same problem you know you won't recognize your USB stick anymore if you just yank it out but uh, okay now this is UNAP booting but this time it is not it doesn't say what it is it just says default rescue fail safe mem test next I'm gonna go with default I'm just gonna go ahead and use my uh, yeah now it's saying welcome to F secure rescue CD please make sure that you have access to the internet okay yes that's already done so it's taking a little bit to boot. <coughs> now we're getting to see some action down there. Okay. F secure CD scans your computer. The scanning process tries to disinfect all files that contain malware. If a file cannot be disinfected, it is renamed. Warning, if Windows system file is infected, the computer may not restart. This is the thing about F Secure. It is serious about all this. What you need it to be, you know. But I've seen it break them more often than not, though. Sometimes, you know, like you say, if you have, like I said before, if you have a false positive, then you wish you hadn't have done that, you know. I've looked through the uh, the scan logs and seen some that I didn't think needed to be renamed or deleted, you know. Select Start Scan and press Enter to scan the computer. If you can. If you connect to the internet through a proxy, select proxy settings before you start. Okay, so I need to go over here. It's on restart computer. I guess it doesn't want to do it for you. It wants you to decide. Uh, use this tool. Press space to select or clear checkboxes. Use the arrow keys to move between elements. Press enter to confirm this selection. Okay, so. Yeah, press start scan. It's been a while since I've used it. So I'm really needing to pay attention to the instructions. <coughs> what? Could not take some time depending on your internet connection. Failed to get channels from the server. Validating. Automatic update. Okay, it worked. I thought it was not going to update. Status check failed. The online is secure. Automatic upgrade package not available. Nothing. What? 
Rechecking. Cannot retrieve the virus database updates. The scan cannot detect malware accuracy without the latest updates. Make sure that your computer is connected to the internet. Restart it. If you still want to scan the computer, press enter. Hmm. So it really did fail. I did see, I kind of scammed, scanned over the, I have the PDF of the, you know, the uh, manual for it on my com other computer and I kind of scanned it and it was telling you how to put them on the, you know, put them in a certain folder and all that. You could download them on a other computer, uh, on the, com you know, a good co computer that's connected in there. But there's nothing wrong with this one's within that cord or anything. It could have got out of whack with me hard shutting it down. It's more uh, probably more likely that the uh, the uh, <coughs> driver to run the Ethernet card on this uh, ASRock motherboard is not on the F secure. Uh, you know, it's not in the ISO image. So, but I'll try it one more time. Okay. So what I'll do is Control Alt Delete. Oops, I missed it. I don't want to scan the computer anyway, that's for darn sure. Emergency sync. Okay, it, it shut down. It didn't reboot, I don't think. Okay. <clears throat> well, I don't know why it shut down, but at least it didn't start scanning and they have me have to force that. Let's see if it'll boot properly. I may not be able to run S secure. It doesn't take very long. It didn't take me five, ten minutes to delete. I just deleted the V. I had tried VBA rescue and it wouldn't boot VBA rescue <coughs> on this system. This is a newer motherboard. Uh, it's back to that whole Windows thing again. So let's get get it to where it's not going to automatically boot into Windows. Do that whole trick again. Let me turn this light on so I can. I don't know that it matters, but much but I'll turn the light on and uh, <coughs> get down here and what I did was just get down here and do the thing you're really not supposed to do I took it out and one slot put it in another and then I went back up here just get the, <coughs> get the old light off now it's on automatic but it only works automatic on the flash not the now watch. I'll, let's see if it works. Control Alt Delete does nothing. Still just looking at me. But on this keyboard, immediately. So I'm lost connection at that point to the USB keyboard. On a new motherboard, I'm surprised because I have to go back to like a ten-year-old machine to have that problem uh, on all my other machines. So I thought, you know, I like this motherboard, and uh, I like the, it's been running good. You know, hadn't given me any problems, and uh, I like the it's real versatile. You can run anything from a Core 2, which is in it, or not a Core 2, but an Athlon X2, to a I wonder if it's hung up to a uh, eight core. But it'll only go up to four gig of RAM. But you can use uh, DDR2 or DDR3. But there's only two memory slots. So, you know, I've got two, uh, two one gigs in there in DDR2s right now because that's what came with this system. It used to, it was it used to be a e-machines, but the motherboard got bad cap syndrome and they popped. And uh, <coughs> I, uh, I took it in trade for labor for building the person and this person this person's new system and uh, part of the labor. And uh, I spent a I'm, I spent three months working on computers. Well, I spent about two weeks on a laptop and then the rest of the time on building the new system. Uh, but Windows 7 and F Corora Fedora Remix 22 or something on there. Or 20. And uh, they'd never used Linux before, but uh, it was a, a lady. She she did pretty well, but then... She's she not real computer literate, you know. But uh, anyway... Uh, 
That's how I got this system. It's hung up. I'm gonna hit F2. Didn't figure it would do anything if it's hung up. Okay, let's just try it again. Control Alt Delete. Now it's not doing anything. This is the most problematic system to just boot up to something. On my USB sticks, it works fine. Um, hard shut down again. Maybe my trick that I thought was a trick to make it boot. I'm gonna put it in the other slot. Maybe the top slot. Some of them they have a, like a num number one slot that will pretty much always be recognized by BIOS. I've seen some that only one slot on the whole thing, will, maybe USB slot, will recognize as a boot slot. But uh, <coughs> I've tried fl flipping and flopping and flopping that thing in different spaces when it acts up. See, now it's just doing that again. So what I was thinking is that by taking it out, putting it in a different slot, I don't even know where I'm aiming the camera, do I? Putting it in a different slot. And then I hit Control Alt Delete on my keyboard. That works right away. Let's see if it's going to lock up again. <coughs> All ago it worked. It, it booted back to my USB stick. Call it a USB stick, it's an SD card and a USB adapter. But I'm used to calling them USB sticks. Okay, it didn't hang up that time. Oh, it worked. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so what had happened to me? Oh, yeah, rescued. Rescue CD. Fail safe. I want to try rescue CD. That's a little unusual. Mem test next. What is next? Why did I, I don't know, it just got my curiosity. Okay. No file for virus, for, no file for saving personal data has been created on this device yet. Oh, well. I guess it did whatever it wanted to do. <coughs> I thought maybe it would take me through, uh, I don't use proxy settings. So, I'm reading this screen again to make sure I was doing it right last time. It should automatically, uh, <coughs> Set up the inter internet. Yeah, same thing. Fail to get channels from server. Okay, I'm going to try control all delete again. <coughs> <coughs> that seemed to work. Normal. Oh, look at that. A little green menu. Okay, it just shut down. Okay. Stop this video and start another one in a minute. <coughs> 